Hello and welcome to me, Tazblade, and my adventures in Minecraft. Okay, so just a little bit about this. Um, basically, I was watching a video by Avomance, and he introduced a seed on there um, with a, a world download. Basically, it's, uh, it includes like seven starter farms. So. Um, yeah, I, I watched that video and I thought, oh, that would probably be a good idea to uh, uh, make a series in. So, that's what I've done. I'll provide a link to the description, um, in the description below. So you can go to that and have a look at it, see what you think. So, let's have a look. I haven't really looked around on this, um, in this world yet. I mean, I know where all the farms are. Um, but I think one of the first things that I need to do is just get some basic resources, you know, just like the basic stuff, and then, and then, we're going to have a look at one of these arters, and, oh my god, not already, no, 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 I can't die already, no, let's get away, run away, run away. Got anything? Yeah, I've got no weapons, no tools, no clothes, no food. Apart from this egg that I'm holding, let's go and chop down some trees. Is he following me? We've lost a scallywag anyway, so that's good. Right. Let's. Oh, we'll have that. I don't like that just sitting, sitting there. It's not very good, is it? So. So we aren't a come on, let's just get some more locks. <sighs> this is fun, no? <laughs> Being to jump him chopping the logs down. You know, I don't claim to be a pro. I'm a noob, of course. So obvious. Let's, let's put that there. Let's put that there. Uh, I'll have one wooden sword. One wooden axe. And one wooden pickaxe. That. <laughs> Don't want to leave you here anyway. Okay, let's let's see if we can get back to that see where that skelly is and see if we can get him killed. Because we don't want him in our village. And then as I was saying, we're going to actually choose one of these houses that we're gonna upgrade and convert 
to our starter base. Because, you know, we need a starter base. Oh, look at that, a bit of coal. Uh, don't mind if I do. I'll have some of that. Thank you very much. Let's just fill that back in. There we go. Okay, what have we got in here? I haven't even, haven't even looked. I know it, it might be not really starting from a total beginning because we've got a few starter farms and we're in a village. But you know, I still I still got to grab all the resources and I, you know I still got to do do the work to get it looking good, haven't I? So. <laughs> We're not going there yet. I'm not ready for that. Just keep getting a bit of this coal and we'll, we'll get some stone as well so we can upgrade our tools because nobody wants wooden tools in their life, do they really? Let's face it, it's not really tickety boot. <laughs> well, probably helps to have a bit more stone, doesn't it? Where we're gonna where we're gonna create our base mine shaft and 
you know, looking at this, this could be an ideal, an ideal place. Wow, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> this could be a good place to maybe start our mine. Let's uh, just pick this back up. Tell you what, I'll grab a sheep, get some wool, and then what we can do is I can have a little portable bed rather than taking one of the beds, um, rather than taking one of the beds out of the uh, village of houses. If we can just create, a, make our own bed, or we can make some more beds as well to put in the village of houses. Let's go get it. Come on. Thank you very much. Now, if we keep that bed in our hot bar, put it there, boom. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> See, the thing is, I like the idea of having a um, portable bed because it means when you go off um, adventuring <laughs> this is adventures in Minecraft after all so we are going to be doing lots of adventuring um, I think it just comes in handy you know to have that bed um, with you as soon as it gets dark you know if you don't want to be messing around with mobs and um, dealing with all, all that nonsense which you know sometimes you do want to be you want to be uh, killing them getting XP and and whatnot, but when you just sort of like when you just sort of adventuring and you're going off on a on a journey and discovering things, it's always best, in my opinion, to um, have a bed in your hot bar. So you can just plonk it down, get some kit, get rid of the night, and no need to worry about um, nasty mobs, zombies, and all the rest of them. Keeping on my coordinates as well, because obviously <laughs> it's uh, always a good idea to keep an eye on your coordinates. I think. Uh, okay, so. Let me have a camera time for this one. I'm just trying to get my bearings, I just want to. There's our main village over there. Uh, that village. I think we need to think about some kind of protection. And look at this lovely mountain directly behind it. This is just awesome. Right, well, we literally surrounded by mountains. One of those, one of these mountains, is gonna um, 
He's going to be our mining area. When we decide which one we're going to do. I've already looked, already looked down there, don't I? I don't want to. Not ready for going down there yet. We well kitted out, don't we? some bots there, so... Gather a, a few more resources, get some um, get some wood and some stone, uh, some more coal, various bits and bobs, and then I think after that we can think about uh, choosing an house to convert into our starter base or starter house, whatever you want to call it. Um, Possibly thinking about some, um, maybe thinking about some protection for this uh, for this village. I mean, we could fortify it, couldn't we? Built up, um, could put like a, a nice big wall around everything. I mean, well, I say everything. We don't need to put it <laughs> around farms because the farm. Various like start farms, they can um, they can be outside. But this little area, here, this where we've got villagers, we can keep um, this area. So it's like a walled in um, little villager, and it'll also be good for our villagers because they'll be safe when you know we'll get it all lit up and everything. Um, that'll keep our villagers safe. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to playing this. This is um this this seed is looking really good. As I say, this um uh this seed I got from um a, another YouTuber um that I watch quite a lot called Avomance. Um, he does um does a lot of Minecraft tutorials and uh, Minecraft um, series on various things. Um, it's really good. You should go check him out. I'm going I'm to leave a link to the description below anyway, so that you can um, see what seed I'm playing on, and you know, you, you can also download the world yourself if, you, in case you want to play on it yourself as well. But, but yeah, I think. Oh my God, is that an, is that a village rat post over there? Is it? Is or a raider outpost? Am I? Am I using the right words? Words. Who needs them? <laughs> well, they come in handy, don't they, sometimes? But that has got to be checked out. And what I was also hoping is we'd have a nice island type area, which. For some um, for some things in regards to islands. Good God! Look at this. This is the only problem with um, 1.18. You get things like this just generate randomly. You, you know, you got to be really careful when you're running around. Gone are the days of, ju of just like running around at fast speed, jumping like this without a care in the world. You know. Everything's all tickety boo, and I'm running along, no problems, and then bang, wallop! Look, <laughs> you end up falling in one of them, and uh, it's just, uh, it's 
just takes some getting used to. I wouldn't say, I don't, you know, it don't spoil the game, but it kind of just takes some getting used to, doesn't it? Red is too far away. Come on. Sleep. 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 Eat. Sleep. <laughs> I think um, I'm going to leave it there, we'll call it a day. It's uh, my first ever episode I've ever done. Um, first ever episode for any sort of uh, game, to be honest. But I'm hoping, um, you know, I'm hoping this can develop into something something cool and something fun. So, um, I'll see you all later. Bye!